Hola everybody, welcome in this last part of our series on QR code and in this last part we are going to talk about Dynamics QR code. Until now we talk about static QR code but in this last video we are going to talk about dynamic QR code. I don't know if you remember but in the starting of this series I told you about a friend who wanted to share invitations using QR code. So what is exactly a dynamic QR code? I will explain again. So a dynamic QR code is a QR code that you can use for dynamic stuff. You know, you can use them for authentication system so you can create a complete application using QR code so that you can authenticate users you can use it for identity management you can use it for statistics uh, let's imagine you want to count the number of people who scan your code you can create a dynamic code to do that kind of stuff so there are many many stuff like that that you can do with a dynamic QR code so so simply a dynamic QR code is a QR code that you can use for dynamic things simply like that so let's see what Google uh, told us about dynamic QR code dynamic QR code have a short URL embedded in the QR code which can redirect the users to the destination website URL so that's just an example guys and to create a dynamic QR code there are many ways to do this but I think uh, it's more like uh, a software engineer program than creating a QR code uh, for now you know how to create a QR code so for the rest to create a dynamic QR code it depends on the, your imagination it depends on your way to solve some specific problem so now in this video I'm not going to code but I'm going to explain how you can create dynamic QR code so let's take an example we want to know every time that our QR code is scanned so we want to count the number of time people scan our QR code let's see how to design something like that from an engineering view so let's imagine this is our QR code like this so this is our QR code so now let's imagine we have a phone here and the phone will scan the QR code and the phone will scan the QR code like this when uh, the phone will scan the QR code the QR code will redirect the user to a website okay let's say it is your website you have something like www and this is your website so imagine you have something like https to dot slash slash api dot com and you have this slash one and you have a uh, stat okay you have a route that is called stat and this is the link that will be on your QR code and every time that uh, this route have a request a get request you will store something in your database like statistic to say that okay I received something and you store this in your database and uh, when you store this in your database you can naturally now redirect some type of redirection to another link or you can even store this and show the content to the user so that's a simple way of doing this let's say you can now uh, redirect the user to a web page so this is a way of creating a QR code where you can scan every time that somebody scan the QR code it's a simple architecture of how to solve it and like I said in the beginning uh, there are many many ways to solve this type of problem you know and that is why it is more a software engineering problem than a QR code problem you know and now I'm just jump into a real case and I'll show you how this type of things can work and I'll show you in a authentication system this is a fast API route every time that uh, you get you give parameter to this route it will generate it will create a QR code on server side you can even uh, get that QR code on client side by downloading so let me show you a source code you have this route that is called uh, download QR code anytime that you hit a get request on this route you will get your QR code you will download the QR code and when you download the QR code let's imagine now that uh, somebody scanned that QR code and if somebody scan that QR code it will uh, send you it will return those type of information uh, let me show you a web page where if uh, you construct your routes you construct your link 
and you give like I want user 40 you will get some information about user 40 that's a QR code that you scan you scan a QR code and it redirects you to a website and you can see information about a specific user and that is the photo of the user you have the name of the user you have uh, some specific information about the user and it is simple guys you just use an API you create an API to generate QR code and you create a specific route to get information about the QR code you can do same for an authentication system so that when people scan your QR code they can automatically uh, connect or get authorize, uh, authorization uh, token so that they can uh, connect later to a website or a mobile application so those are specific things that you can create with QR code now I hope that you have understand how those Dynamics QR codes works. It is not difficult. It's more a software engineering problem. If you want to learn how to create an API, just look in the YouTube channel. You will find a specific playlist on that when I'm teaching how to create from scratch an API with Fast API framework. That's the end of this series, guys. Thank you very much for being watching my series. I hope. Uh, you subscribe to the channel if you need any source code just uh, give attention in the description you will find a link for my github account and you will find all the source code thank you very much see you soon young death